Good morning, gang. Hope you had a happy, a happy fourth, a good fourth, a powerful fourth. Uh, I'm here in Augusta, Georgia. Never been here before. It is humid. <laughs> oh my God, it's so humid here, y'all. It's so humid. Oh man, but I'm here on an overnight. I leave here in about four hours to go end up in. Uh, I don't even know where I end up tonight. That's that, that's pretty. I don't even know. I don't even know more in the morning where I am. When I wake up, I got to think about get where am I? Okay, I'm here. But um, anyway, you know, my wife and I were talking about something just a few days ago. Um, we know some young Christians who are, and they've been saved for a while, um, and these are people who have been saved for a while, but they're really going through growing pains as a Christian. And one thing I've learned um, is that we want to judge some, some of us mature Christians, some of us Christians who for the most part have a lifestyle of being a Christian. We still have our flaws. And one of my big flaws, and I'm working on it is judging uh, because I'm a very linear person. If this happens, then this happens, then, then, then this will happen. And Christians don't grow in a linear fashion. And so you can't judge off of a linear scale. And and I'm not excusing sin. I'm not saying that 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 grace is something that should be just thrown on the wall and 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 blown off or or, or God's uh, love or Christ's sacrifice. But Christianity and growing as a Christian does not come in these linear fashions. You're going to screw up because unfortunately. It takes it's a, it's a process to die to Christ or die to self. That's why the Bible says that we have to work out our own salvation through fear and trembling. And we don't have any tolerance for sin, but we know that we, because we're on this earth, we have a propensity to sin. And I want to make sure that us people who are a little stronger, who, who've been around the block a little longer, give some space for these Christians who fall often because if we keep judging them actively it hardens our hearts towards them and makes them stay away from us when they need their real help and i'm not saying you're gonna go oh, baby it's okay to sleep around baby it's okay to you know do crack it's okay to cuss people out no it's not okay but remember where you were one time remember the grace god gave you remember that that it's important to leave room for the Holy Spirit to work on people's lives. So as we walk through this life of being Christians, this is, this is the word that my wife and I came up with. When God is dealing with people and their sin and their lifestyle, they are growing in a way that we cannot measure, nor can we judge. I'll say that again. When God is dealing with people in his own way, People are growing as Christians in a way that we cannot measure nor judge. So all I'm saying is this. Just make sure that the people in your life who you know aren't really sold out, who aren't really completely converted, um, have grace for them, love them, love them to Christ. The Bible says that it's a goodness of God that leads people to repent. And as long as we have an open door, not that we're going to excuse their sin, not that we're going to to say that it's okay to go sin, but when they fall, they need to know that 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 they can come to Christ, and maybe sometimes us, to confess their sins, and receive forgiveness, and maintain that love of righteousness. All right, that's it. Have a great morning. Love you guys so much, and. Um, I'll catch you later on. See you. Ah, see you.